Hello there and welcome back again to Copycat Lemmings. So, gonna start on Mayhem here. I'm probably only gonna do the one video this time, probably 10 levels, but we'll see how we go. So our first level here is This Ain't Your Mama's Level. <laughs> and okay, so we can lose one lemming and we've got a two minute time limit. Now this level I've actually solved before. I definitely remember how to do it. So this one's probably not gonna take too long to do. So we'll start by building a splat bomb for these guys. As you can see, one builder does the trick. We've lost our one lemming there, so... so we need to aim this miner fairly carefully. Not let him build and stop building and go over the edge and stuff. Yeah, that miner's going to make it nicely. So we'll bash under here to release our blocker. Let all the lemmings out. Pull out so we can release these guys now. And they're off home. See, as I said, I did already know how to solve this level. But it did take me a while to work out at first. Not too long, but... So we're on to level 2. Is this legal? Now this one as well I've played fairly recently, but I can never really remember exactly how to do it, so we're allowed to lose two lemmings here. Now obviously we're going to need to build up to this, preferably without missing. Now what to do beyond that? So the easiest way is if we bomb right at the edge here, yep, that creates a... No, that's not going to work. Okay, okay, that's it. I remember now how this one's done. So we get all the lemmings in there. Okay, so from the top there, that ball would be fatal, but from this lower point it isn't. And that did not work out as well as I'd hoped. So let's try that again and try to place the blocker a bit better. Okay, no, so it seems this isn't going to work out because of exactly how the mechanics work. No, I've got one more idea that might work. No, still a fair few going off this way. Okay, so something this simple is not going to work. What else can we try? Um, so this part's obvious. We, uh, we need to do it from somewhere where they'll actually get up. Step up that they can. No, it's going to give us the one extra loss leaming, and it's going to seal off that, so that's not going to work out. Okay. So knowing how to do this one isn't really going to help too much here. Hmm. If we bomb that the edge here. No, because now they can't get up there. Ah, 
what I want to do is block right at the edge and use a builder. Okay, not quite like that. So what I'm going to do is still have this guy here bomb there. Yes! And now I use this builder and block there. Okay, that should do it. Yes, there we go. Okay, okay, so even knowing already, well not knowing, but having done this level before, that still gave me a bit of difficulty, so definitely a good level there. On to level 3, which is Extremely Wicked Garden. Okay, so this is sort of a repeat of that level in, was it tricky or taxing? I don't remember. Okay, I don't see us as going to need many builders, so we'll seal that off with one of those. Send a pair of climbers up. Okay, not a pair, we'll need one more. And here we're obviously going to have to bash um, actually going to bomb this to get it a bit lower. So we're going to have to bash through this. Actually no, that serves no purpose whatsoever. Patch this up. Doesn't work in any way, I wouldn't have enough bombers to get through. Wait, 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 wait. And I can see something here that will work out very nicely. And then from here we just build up. Might just okay. There we go. And okay, let's see. Okay, just gonna bomb through here. Did that save enough? Yes, even with one to spare. Okay, on to level four. Having a blast. Yay, yeah, is this gonna be more bombers? Well, okay, I don't know. We can only lose two lemmings. Might be some bombing involved. So let's worry about these guys first, because I think for them it's just a simple builder. And that we'll see. Yep. Awesome. Actually, I don't know how well this will work out. There we go. Now, because I've taken advantage of instant bombers here, the solution wouldn't have worked in genuine copycat lemmings, but I would think that something similar would probably be workable. You may have to use a different way to get a lemming out of there, like maybe bomb under instead of bomb over, but anyway, on to level 5. The Twin Bridges Part 3. So we've got 80 lemmings, we can lose 5 of them. And okay. We have to work with 
obviously we're going to want to do something about this trap here. Now we've got plenty of builders, so I'm not going to use my bomber here. Oh, okay. We have to start him a bit sooner. I'm going to want to bomb him next to that. Can they slip under the... No, they get squashed. Okay. So what I'm going to want to do then is build over it. And yeah, they'll hit that turn around and hopefully get under it safely on the other side. I want to come back to here so that I can turn these guys around again. Okay, so really I should have kept these ones up the top. Let's start that again. Yeah, we'll use this guy. It's not too bad. Hey, get back there. Yeah, that's better. So we've just got to deal with this now. And that shouldn't be too hard. And there we go. Okay, that's that level done. Okay, so these are getting fairly challenging now. So what's level 6? Like actual insanity. So 20 lemmings, 20 to be saved. And ah, I see how to do this one. So what I think is the idea here is, at least I hope it is, because or at least hope it works, is that we are meant to dig down the side of this to sort of create a space that the lemmings can build up through. I don't know, I certainly don't see any other way this level could be done. that done let's start building up yeah, I'm gonna save everyone so I'll make both of these guys build yep looks like this is gonna work so I don't know I presume this would be the intended way to solve it but I mean, I can't see anything else that would work, so... Okay, I wasn't expecting him to stop there, so the build was kind of a reflex thing to make him stop, but anyway, it worked out. So we're on to level 7 now, which is, quote, what a titanic level. So we've got 80 lemmings, we've got to save all of them, and what do we have to do it with? And miners mostly. This that way. Solving this part on the right here, meanwhile I'll deal with this. Hey, hey, you get back up there.
think we need that miner. It's also the left side, um, I might just start working on this side as well now. So for them it's basically going to be a zigzag mine down to the... Okay, I won't go any further just yet, I'll build this bit out first. And at this point I can probably start coming further down. Yeah, and that will get them through. Okay, and that should save everyone. Sweet, on to level 8, which is Odd Lemmings Local 151. Okay, and it's another 100 percenter. This time we've got builders, bashers and diggers to work with and this is going to be annoying <laughs> um, okay so say that obviously we're going to want to patch up all these little gaps So, yes. Ah, sometimes you've got to love the long, cheapo fall distance. Okay, and then we've got to... Okay, that leaves a little diagonal crack, but... Ah, cheapo mechanics come in handy again here. Since, due to them, he will step right over that gap. Actually, I'm pretty sure there was another case on an earlier level where remembering that would have saved me a bit of hassle. No, I'm thinking of a level us testing for Lemmings Plus 4. Never mind that then, but... Okay, and we can release the crowd now. And there we go, another level down, so we're on to level 9, which is essentially the same. 40 lemmings, got to save all of them. So it's basically we all fall down, but with only 20 diggers, only half as many as we need. So I'm sure if we use the taxing slash mayhem solution, it will work out. Or we can just do this. Not sure if cheapo digger mechanics would have allowed that, but Neolemic certainly does. DOS would not. We'd have to use the taxing or mayhem trick. But okay, so that's that one down. We're on to level 10. More pea soup, please. Another level referencing original lemmings, but this one looks like it's going to be a bit more of a challenge than the original pea soup was. So we can lose two lemmings and. Hmm, it doesn't actually look like it's going to be too hard. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is contain the crowd. Second thing we're going to want to do is start building up to the pea soup. Okay, at this point, I think that ball's going to get fatal, so we'll use another builder to prevent that. From here I think I can just directly build up to there, maybe not, no, okay, so obviously I can't afford to, 
Hmm. Okay, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go about my crowd control the old fashioned way here. No way around using five builders there, there's just not enough space to do anything else. I mean, not a high enough starting point for anything else. Assuming there he'll fall onto that. Yes, so now I'm assuming that fall's gonna kill him. Okay. So the question is, is this fall gonna kill him? Yes. So you need to find a way to make that fall survivable. Okay, let's change the strategy up a bit. Okay, no, because we need to do something that's going to cost us a builder to stop the crowd from splitting. Either that or something that's going to cost us a blocker. Let's, okay, we've got 50 lemmings, so let's turn the release rate down when we're at 48. I'm going to try and bridge up this gap before this last guy gets here but without any splats. No, it doesn't seem to be doable. And so we've only got one floater anyway, so what I was thinking of there wouldn't have worked. Okay, back to plan A. Oh no, no, that's right, the problem is the lack of floaters more than anything else. Okay, we're definitely going to need one more. does leave us with a spare two builder. Oh no, because we need one to get them out. So basically I need to find a way to turn him around without using the builder, which I don't think there's a way to do. Either that, or I need to find a way to control the crowd without needing an extra builder. Hmm. I have one idea. No, that would leave me with the spear block of Okay. Okay, time to try something completely different, which is either a back route or a very sneaky intended solution. But, I mean, I don't know, the way it's raised sort of suggest this may be intended, but... I should have put the locker a bit closer to the side. We may have enough skills to create a pseudo blocker there. Since this solution is not going to run short on builders. Guy out now. Okay, I'm not sure whether this was intended, but it works. I said it works. <laughs> yes, it works. Okay. So, okay, so that's our 10 mayhem level. So for today, I'll leave you at that.
I'll continue Mayhem another time, but till then, hope you're enjoying it and have a good day.